more than anything. That would be absolutely sick to get Deron Payne. That's my number one target. I am with you. I think that completes the defensive line in. Then they could get a defensive tackle in the draft. And you're looking at this defensive line like the offensive line. Building the trenches. Sick and ridiculous. How do you win games? You run the football, stop the run, get after the passer. I think that would be a fantastic get for the Lions. I do expect them to get a veteran corner as well. I don't think they're just going to go all rookie cornerback. I do expect them to take a corner in the first two picks. Or the first two first-round picks. One of those probably be a corner. But I expect them, they should get a veteran as well because you don't want to just have expecting a rookie corner to come out there and be, you know, the guy game one. No, and it's something we've struggled with for years. Think Coleman, think Trufant, think, um, oh God, who was the one that was at the Bills at the minute? I, I've, I've sort of blacked out half of them that have been there because they've just been such utter disasters and cost us a fortune. And it, it's what's really held us back in that department. So I agree with you. We absolutely need one. We need to find the right guy. I think you need to find guys. I think why Kaminsky and Bugs have been so good. These are guys, they've not been to Super Bowls. They've still got a lot to prove. They're still in line with the team ethos of working forward towards progression. When we bought all those expatriates in under Quinn and Patricia, they'd been there. They'd won it. They were all about money by that time. They weren't aligned with the team goal of seriously winning and developing the franchise. So you want to find a guy who's, you know, in the prime of his career, if they can, and he's not won the big one. He's not been there. He's desperate to win because, like you say, we are a destination which will provide a lot of hope now because the most important thing that players will see is we're, we're drafting really well and the rookies are getting really good. That's the sign of a sound organisation when you're drafting well and building your young core. And people want to play with that. And they've seen us on live TV just how tough we play, how strong we play. So definitely veteran corner. And I'd take two corners in the draft. I would go out that room completely. There's just Jeff left. There's just Jacobs left. Everyone else can... Oh, I'd move Iffy back in as well, but I'd still put loads yeah, of guys in there. You want to have a strong rotation. And you want to put some more in at safety as well, so we can move Iffy back. It's malpractice the way he's been treated, but those three, leader, two more draft picks, fine by me. Good, solid group going forward. I'm going to miss your comments, so just repost it, copy and paste, because there's a lot of people putting comments down. It's going to happen. I'm not being... Purposely negligent. It's just there's a lot of you guys in there. So just repost it and we'll get after it. Hashtag smash the hole. Do you think we keep Swift for one more year? Absolutely. I think he's here next year. After that will be a decision going forward with DeAndre Swift. But I do think they draft a running back. Just an FYI. Because he can't rely on Swift to be healthy for the whole season. Hashtag FTB is next year. Akuta's final year in year in contract is he on a do or go status we got to pick up his fifth year option I don't know if we're going to do that I think they're deciding that what is your gut feeling at man on picking up Akuda's fifth year option I think they don't what do you think I mean I think I think they will because you you can pick it up, but you can still cut them before then and not pay them it, is my belief in there. I think you can, you're not fully committed to it, but it's a tough one. What you saw from him this year, the first half was really good. Then it sort of tailed off. But I think everyone's forgetting. This is a guy who barely played in like nearly two years. And then he's come back and played a full slate of games pretty much without a break. Um... And, you know, it's going to take its toll on a guy. It's a lot of football to play when you've been out so long. So, of course, I think as time goes along, you're going to suffer a little bit. But I, I, I would. I would. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that offensive to the cap going forward. And then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I, I, I think they do. I, th I think, you know, he's shown enough to do it going forward. And I think you've got to put that faith in him as well. I think if you take it, it it's a show of faith in him. And then, you know, he's got to earn earn the right to pay you back and, and play as he does. But I, I would. I'm rooting for him 100%. I want him to succeed. Let's get, Hopefully, he you know, he they do and he succeeds. That's the best case scenario for the Lions franchise. Hashtag FGB. Do you guys think we'll pick a safety in the draft or in free agency? 
This one's intriguing. I just think they re-signed Deshaun Elliott. That's what I'm going to go with because you already got Tracy Walker who will be coming back from injury. And then you got Kirby Joseph be starter. Maybe they take one. I don't know. Melifon was a safety. I say no. They don't. Maybe at the end of the draft they'll take a safety like in the sixth round or something like that. What do you think? Uh, for me, I would. I, I think you've got I would to. Too. I know... I know Deshaun's. I think Deshaun's proven himself worthy of more time here. Tracy, we're, we're forgetting Tracy ain't going to be fit to start next yep. year. We ain't going to get him back till in the season, so you can't rely on him in a rotation. And even when he comes back, you know, it's. I think you can cancel most of next season for him by the time he's speed and playing well. Seasons are going to be gone, so I think you have to. You have to keep getting better at the position, and I think. If the right guy is there, then absolutely. Our, our secondary is still our Achilles heel, let's not forget. I know Kirby's had the picks and that this year and done really well, but he's also been burned a lot because he's a young guy and he's learning. And, you know, without your veteran leader in there, you're still going to struggle. So I think you have to keep improving at the position. Like I said, I don't, you don't need to spend anything on the defensive line if you get a DT and free agency. So strengthen your other areas up. Get linebacker, get corner, get safety, keep... You know, because these are, these are areas we still need depth and rotation. We're not replacing guys here. We're just adding to the rooms already. So for me, if, if there's one they're enamored with enough, I don't really care where they pick him, apart from first round, because there aren't any first round worthy safeties this year. But outside of that, you get into second, you get into third, you know, you're in jail Skinner's territory, I'd take him in a heartbeat. But I, I'd still draft somebody, absolutely. Thursday, OPP on my channel is not going to be at 4 o'clock. I got to go to an appointment, get an MRI done on my lower spine, find out if I need spinal fusion uh, for my second spinal fusion. So just an FYI, I don't know if I'll do it before or after. It will happen on Thursday sometime. We'll get the live show there. Would you be disappointed if the Lions drafted B. Jung Robinson with the 18th pick? Now, this is going to bring controversy. This is going to spark the chat to go crazy. Chef Chris, I agree with you about the safety where you have three. Seen that in the comment section. This one's going to be interesting because I can see a situation where they do draft Bijan Robinson, whether it be at 18 or they trade back into the first round. Why do I say this? Why? Because, first off, if you get another a running back like Bijan Robinson, who Saquon Barkley like, just like we've seen with Todd Gurley in the Rams, it really elevates the offense and it took took Jared Goff to the next level. I could see a situation where they do that. <sighs> Should they do it at 18? I will go defense. I think there's going to be defensive prospects out there that I would like, but they may. Now, what do you think of this one? you got a smile on your face. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this. Would I be disappointed if we drafted him? Absolutely. <laughs> not. I have thought and pontificated about this for a very long time, and the more I've thought about it, the more I am on board with it. I would, I would not be disappointed in the slightest if they did it. Now, is it what I would do? Probably not. But if his name is get called, I'll tell you what, I will be giddy as a kid before Christmas Day. I honestly would, because people say running back is devalued. And, you know, that might be right to a reason. But look at last year. Top two running backs taken last year. One is in for an Offensive Rookie of the Year. The other would have been outright Offensive Rookie of the Year if he didn't get injured. Then go back to day three. 17 running backs taken. Only three of them did anything for their teams this year. It's, it's not just as simple as going, we'll get one day three and it'll all work out. Our running game is vital to this team this season. You've seen how critical the run game is to our football team. So why should it not be prioritized as such? Why should it not be prioritized as critical? You have to invest in that room. You have to give it the best. And our O-line is not going to get any better than what it is now. We might have one of the best O-lines we ever have again yes. at this point in time. So invest in it. You have an elite O-line. Take the elite running back. Bijan is special. And by special... People have said Barry 2.0. Now, while I don't agree with that fully, I see where they're coming from. He has that ability to change games. 
He has the ability. He will take the bell cow workload. He's smart how he runs, whether it's between or outside the tackles. You know, most missed tackles in college this year. He forced 104. First running back to ever go over 100 in terms of missed tackles in a season. He's insane. And he's also actually a pretty decent receiver as well, although he's not needed. So absolutely, yes. Our running room is critical. You put him in, one, it means you don't have to have Swift taking a bell cow workload and risk injuring him. You can use him more schematically and kind of get more out of him. And then Jamal, you keep as your short yardage back if you need him, etc. Yeah. It gives you a lot of weapons. It gives you a lot of danger. And our run game is critical to us. So I have it no... Is critical. I, I, yeah, it is. So I don't know why in draft-wise it's not considered the same. I would absolutely do it. I would not be disappointed. Before you in the comment section rip a new one here, we'll do the, the positives... In the negatives for a B. John Robinson, positive, your offense would be elite. It would be top five offense. You'd have the ability. Play action would be ridiculous. Now imagine play action with Jamison Williams and B. John Robinson. You get your trio. If you're a, you're a Jared Goff guy, you got Jared Goff. You got a number one running back. That's damn good. Be top five in the NFL. And you got your speedy wide receiver with Amon Ross, St. Brown on the outside, and Josh Reynolds and everybody. This offense would be nearly unstoppable. It would be. You have DeAndre Swift. He could be your Theo Riddick. You can use him in the run game, but you can use him in the pass game. You got Jamal Williams, who's going to pound it in every time he can for a touchdown. The offense would be so difficult to stop, I think it damn near be the best in the NFL. I think it would be up there with the Kansas City Chiefs. It would be, it'd be ridiculous. Now the downside is you need a defensive player. And you could be missing out on a Gonzalez or a Joey Porter Jr. or a Cam Smith, someone of that nature in the secondary. It's possible that you could miss out on that. But then you got two second-round picks. This is the situation that I had. I had the Lions taking Brzee at 6. I had the Lions drafting Gonzalez at 18 and trading up to get Bijan Robinson with the two first or two second-round picks. That's what I had going on in my mock draft. I think that would be outstanding. But, you know, to which his own... If I'm sitting there at 18, there's no trade scenario, I'll probably go defensive player, probably go corner, because we need a corner so bad. <laughs>